Hey, how y'all doing? Zebra King 14. And man, does this feel good. I, I'm so sorry I haven't posted in a while. But as you can now see, my beautiful face. <laughs> it's awesome. I know. It's crazy. So, a lot has happened since I last posted. My last episode of anything was a very, very long while ago. That was, um... I think it was, uh, Beat Memes. Yeah, Beat Memes 2 was the last video that I posted. And that was a few months ago. It's been a while, and a lot has happened. As you now can see my beautiful face, and you might have already noticed that the audio is a lot clearer. Obviously, this is a different game that we're playing now, too. So, there's a lot of different stuff. I got myself a brand new gaming PC, so I'm no longer playing on the PlayStation 4, meaning I'm open to a lot more games and a lot better content for my channel. It also allows me to slap out videos a lot faster because I can edit, record, and do all the stuff that I needed to do over multiple different devices all on one device. Uh, I've got a brand new webcam and uh, professional grade microphone uh, I'll talk more about that later um, there is plenty and plenty of new opportunities for me to do content and I know <laughs> I know that I haven't posted in forever and you guys are all probably mad at me or whatever for the five of you watching this but Bear with me because there's going to be a lot better content coming and there's going to be a lot more of it soon. Uh, obviously, all the games that I had on my PlayStation, I now have to rebuy on Steam because it's a completely new platform that I've never uh, bought anything for yet. So I've got to re-download all of my same games. I've got to do a bunch of stuff. So it might not pick up quite as much as it was going for a while there but slowly as i buy more games i should begin to pick up and get back into some sort of regular recording schedule hopefully but until then i'm going to be doing some weird content in weird places that i'm that my channel's not you know normally for uh as you can see i my environment not the best for recording recordings so uh i don't actually have an official setup i don't have really a place to sit so currently i'm actually at my kitchen table uh you can see my christmas decorations in the background i got a tree here a tree over there um i've got uh quite a bit that i still need to do but i have I am going to start picking up again soon, and it's going to be great. There's going to be so much better, more quality content. It's all going to be faster. It's just going to be awesome. But enough of that. I'm going to jump into the video. I've got more stuff that I'm going to talk about in the video about what's happened over this long period and why I haven't posted in forever. But, uh... I'm going to just jump right into the content. So, uh, as you can see, this is a far, far uh, place from my previous content. This is, it's uh, Balloons Tower Defense 6, and uh, nobody, nobody probably expected this, except for the people that know me personally and know that I play this game a lot. Um, so... I have recently, uh, actually not recently, for a while now, I've been playing this game. Uh, I've gotten pretty good at it, too. Uh, I, yeah, it's just, I've gotten really good at it. But now that I got it, uh, my new gaming PC and all, uh, I have been able to actually play uh, this game with mods installed. So... That's what I'm going to do today. 
uh, I'm just going to talk about the future of my channel and I'm going to show off my usual mod pack that I usually have on. Uh, not going to show off anything too crazy in this episode. I just want to show off what I'm going to have in every episode now from now on because I'm going to be adding a butt ton more mods to this. Right now I have a bunch of mods waiting that I can showcase off just to milk this content out until I can get out the real content that you guys want to see. And I've got plenty of stuff. Now, for those of you who know this game, uh, Boss Events, which is right up here in the corner, they are the hardest part of the game. And so, what better way to show off how OP and awesome my mods are other than by doing that so I'm just going to select my hero and I think I'm all set uh, let me just uh turn on the sound real quick and let's take on the elite lich boss Starting off, the first thing I want to do, I want to place down my hero, Obin Greenfoot. Uh, for those of you that don't know this game, he is a special hero, which you can only have one per game. They have 20 levels and automatically level up over time. They're really good often as starters, at least in Balloons Tower Defense 6. Uh, you can pay to get more upgrades for him. But I like to just put them down immediately. The special, each hero has special abilities. This one can shoot through walls and buffs magic towers. Uh, I'm not really using him for anything other than the fact that he can shoot through walls. And he's a good starter. So I'm sticking with that. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to put down a banana farm, which will get me more money for the later game. And soon... I will be able to show you my very for the very first mod of this pack. I have the ultimate cross pathing mod, which for those of you who don't know this game, which is a lot of you, I'll be saying that a lot in this video. There is a specific upgrades for each tower. There's only a certain amount you can do. So normally for each tower. You can only go to a T5 in one path all the way up to this and then get two in another path. Only one other path. And then the last path is completely closed off for the rest of the game. And you can't get the last three of the other one. So I could get Monkey Wall Street and Greater Production, but then I would never be able to get any of these or these three. However, the Ultimate Cross Pathing mod disables that completely now any tower in the game that isn't a special modded tower has the ability to be able to do multiple paths all the way to the top so you could get all five of them to a t5 tower and that's exactly why i have this it's especially good with this tower in particular because since it gives you money each path has a different little ability of it where where the bottom path gives you not as much money but it collects the bananas automatically the middle path gives you it it's difficult to describe the middle path but it's a very good way of making money but you still have to con collect uh, by pressing a button it's better than just the base but it's not as good at collecting as this bottom path and then the top path gives you the most amount of bananas but it you have to collect it all by yourself non-stop so 
this mod allows me to get both the bottom path and the top path, so I'm always getting the maximum amount of money, and it seems I'm losing lives here. Uh, I'm going to put down the free dart monkey. So I can get the bottom path, so it automatically co collects, and I can get the top path, so that it automatically gives me butt tons of more money. So that's always a very big plus, and that is this is one of my favorite towers, probably my favorite tower, with the ultimate cross pathing on. Um, this is the regular dart monkey. Uh, if you want to, I'm, I'm going to just tr stop explaining some of the towers, because if you don't know this game, then, uh, look it up. There, there's a lot of different towers, and I don't have the, I don't have time to, to explain what each path does. Just wanted to do that for the banana farm, give you a gist of the game. Um, but, I now have Marketplace, so that's, that's always something I got going for me. Um, boss appears in 14 rounds. I should be good to get another farm. Uh, eventually, I'll get to show you some of the other mods that I have installed, but, um, the only early game mod that really does much is the ultimate cross-pathing mod. Later in the game, I'll get to show you some of the better mods, but until I get the money... The best mod that I can really show you now is the ultimate cross pathing. So, uh, speaking of, I am going to just skip to a point where uh, I have gotten. Let's skip this music. Uh, um, I'm going to skip to a point where something exciting happens. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. So the boss just appeared. This is the elite lich boss. Uh, and this boss is extremely difficult. Uh, under any normal circumstances, this dude would be next to impossible to beat. But thanks to the ultimate cross pathing mod, and now that I just got my very first T5, I am probably going to beat him fairly easily. And up in the top right, you can see actually the next mod... Uh, I didn't plan on showing this off, but for some reason I can't disable it, so I've got the additional tiers mod, which allows you to get T6 towers, which is an upgrade beyond T5, by getting a certain amount of pops. Um, I'm not going to show off much of this. You might see a little sneak peek with one of the towers that I show off might accidentally do it. Or whatnot but we easily beat the very first lich boss so now let's get banana research facility so we're just making a butt ton more money uh, I'm going to stick with what I've got I'm going to sell this guy Never mind. Uh, I'm sticking with him uh, for for now. Uh, I got. I don't want the T5, but as you can see, that is my next mod. So here's my next mod. Normally in the game, you can only have one T5 of each. Having any more would be absolutely broken. We removed that, and now we can have infinite of each T5. And so, we can have infinite of each T5. So, I mean, really it, to most normal people that doesn't sound too overpowered, but these, but T5s are insanely powerful. Like, you wouldn't believe how powerful some of these are. Having multiple of them is OP. Normally, there is, technically, you can get more than one by with a maximum of four in co-op. However, I can put down as many as I want by myself, which 
helps out even more with the banana farms, as you will see later. Uh, as you can see, the boss is going to be showing up again soon, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to get myself extra money right now. As much money as possible, because the more money I have, the better, I'll, the better off I'm going to be later in the game. And so, all right, I think that's a good amount right there for money. Uh, now, as for the next thing, uh, I am going to... Uh, what should I do next? So, the next boss is going to be showing up real soon. I want something that's going to be able to easily beat him. And I think best thing to do is just get a one of these all right that's the ultimate cross pathing for you gives you some of the most op stuff in the game this dude doesn't have any t6s with him so i don't have to worry about him upgrading into one of them he's just good uh i'm going to since uh He's not doing as hot as I'd want him to. I'm gonna get another one. And actually, you might have just caught a glimpse of one of the next mods that I have installed. Uh, I'll go into detail about that more once this thing is completely popped, which is actually taking a lot longer than I was hoping for. Right. With two of these things on it, you'd think it'd be going a lot faster. But, uh, but it's okay. We don't really have much to worry about. Still. I mean, I should be able to beat this dude in time. I am not worried in the slightest. Uh, I've got a lot of money right now, so I'm going to constantly upgrade these all to T5s. And this is when the big bucks start really rolling in. When you get one of these T5s, it's OP. When you get multiple of them, then you can't lose. And I am about to have... One, two, three... Yep. I am about to have, like, a lot of money coming in. Uh, I'm gonna sell one of these, actually. And all right, I'll just keep that dude there. Sorry about the explosion sound effect. That's uh, not something I can really help. Uh, I'm also going to get these each up now to this, which gives me even more money. And I, uh, you may be wondering why I am not going down the middle path, and that's because the middle path actually, it's very weird. Like how I said before, it, uh, you still have to press a button to collect it, but it does give a little bit more money. However, in this, due to the way the mod works, going down the middle path decreases the amount of money you're making. So, I'm actually not going to be going down the middle path. However, uh, we are now, we are now set on money for the rest of the game. We're not going to need anything else. Which means I can work on something else. I'm going to put down a pontoon. Okay? This allows me to have water on a non-water map. And I am going to set up... Actually, I just need two of them. So... For those of you in the game that already play this game and have been praying recently... You probably know about Paragon Towers. If you don't look them up, I don't feel like explaining it. But the way a Paragon Tower works, if you have all three Tier 5s of a given tower, then you can buy the Paragon of that tower, 
which is basically a 5-5-5 five, five, five of that tower, except on steroids. So, for example, a mortar monkey one would be like this, except a lot better. It would be absolutely insane. So, those paragons are very overpowered. Now, the thing is, there's only currently three paragons in the game. There is the dart monkey paragon, the boomerang paragon, and the ninja paragon. Those are the only ones currently in the game. However, there, I have mods installed that allow me to have every single primary or these blue towers. Each of them has a paragon and every single green tower has a paragon. The military monkeys. Which is overpowered. So, here is the submarine paragon. Now, this brings me on to my next mod, which uh, y you might be thinking, I'm going crazy. And yes, I am very much going crazy. But, as you can see, with this paragon, there is a one right here. You can get that one up to 100, depending on how many things you pop, or how many towers you buy, before you before you turn it into a paragon as you can see he's absolutely shredding the lich boss but if it's at 100 it multiplies the attack of any paragon by insane proportions absolutely insane proportions and as you can see even at tier one he just popped that thing like it was nothing however you can also see i have this button that says set degree I can change the degree of my paragon on the go. No issues, no problems. All I have to do is hit that and I can set it to literally any number I want under 100. That mod is called Instant Degrees and it's super useful because there's a lot that goes in to getting higher tier paragons. And you can't even get a max tier paragon by yourself. You have to have at least four people in one game to get a max paragon in normal. I th you pro you can get like 50, I think, by yourself. But you have to have four people in a game to be able to get the max. Well, I simply press a button and get the max immediately. So, yeah. Uh, this this is the uh, monkey sub paragon. I'll go more into detail about him later in a later episode. When, you know, when I have more time. But, as of right now, I've got him as a paragon. Uh, he, he's doing amazing uh, I don't know what to say other than, well, he's overpowered. Um, so, what I am going to do now is I'm going to look for your, something else to show you guys. So, yeah, I gave you a sneak peek at the Paragons. Uh, I showed you how fast he can blow something up. Uh... I think I got an idea of what else I want to try. So, one of the current paragons in the game is the Apex Plasma Master. If I set degree 100 here and sell this guy, he is one of the current paragons in the game. Not quite as powerful as any of the custom ones, but as you can see, there is the gold experience in the top right. This, when this gets to 100, <laughs> as you can see, he's absolutely destroying this Lich boss. This boss doesn't even stand a chance. And there we go. When he reaches a certain number of pops, he becomes the gold experience. An extremely powerful golden version of the Apex Plasma Master. 
He is insane on proportions of damage that you're not going to see in almost any other tower. There's only, I believe, two other towers, maybe three or four, that can compare with this guy. Uh, I Obviously, I'm going to look way further into detail with a lot of these in later episodes. If you want to see more content like this, uh, hit the like button if you do. Subscribe if you really want to. But, like I said, I'll probably be doing my normal content here soon. So, this is just... This is not going to be a regular occurrence, most likely. Uh, but, I do have all of this going for me right now. I'm probably going to be posting a lot more videos as of right now. I'm going to try and get into a regular schedule of this. And maybe that'll help me later on get into a regular schedule of the other content that I want to post. Because there is a lot. There is a lot more than I want to do. But I thought, you know, this is this is fun. I might as well showcase off my current... One of my favorite games. I'm pretty good at this game, actually. Like, I don't want to sound arrogant. But I have been playing... Balloons Tower Defense games for as long as I can remember. So, I've gotten pretty good over the years. I've made it to some pretty far rounds. And I've done some pretty difficult challenges in vanilla. And I thought it might just be fun to blow off some steam. And I thought, why not bring you guys along for the ride? And What the heck? How much money do I have? Is that... I think that's ten million dollars. I'm telling you, these things are insane. Like, actually, just crazy for money. Uh, and this dude's gonna be able to pop the pop the last lich boss without any problems whatsoever. I can a hundred percent guarantee that. Um. Which means that we are actually coming to an end with this video. Um, this, oh yeah, he is just getting annihilated. <laughs> I, I feel bad almost. Almost. He, this dude's not even able to aim at him and he's still doing more damage than this guy could possibly keep up with. The absolute insanity of these mods is crazy now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like on the v video if you re if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my channel got plenty of great content on the channel a lot with aiden who hopefully i'll be able to play some games with here soon i've got a lot of things that i got planned so be sure to stay tuned for that it's by subscribing uh hit the notification bell if when you if you want to get notified whenever i post a video crazy videos funny videos sometimes very very hardcore videos all depends on what i want to do but i'll see you in the next video goodbye